This regulatory framework includes the entire life cycle of batteries that are placed on the market in Europe and should prevent and reduce adverse impacts of the batteries on the environment taken into account. The carbon footprint of battery manufacturing, ethical sourcing of raw materials, security of supply chain, facilitating reuse, repurposing and recycling. This regulation specifies rules from a technological and environmental point of view and defines responsibilities of stakeholders along the value chain of battery. Regarding battery operation, the regulation sets out performance and durability parameters to measure, calculate or estimate the values for the electrochemical performance and durability parameters. Beside this, the framework defines targets for recycling efficiency of batteries, targets for recovery of materials and targets for percentage of use in recycling materials in production of new batteries. The last key point relates to mandatory battery due diligence. It must address at least the most prevalent social and environmental risk categories and is imposed on economic operators who place batteries on the market or put them into service. Well, this is the main point of the regulation. As we explained before, uh, battery passport will increase transparency along the supply and value chain, maximizing the exchange of information, enabling tracking and tracing of batteries. And it's so important to remark that the battery passport is a digital product passport, and for that it should meet the requirements to the co-design standard in relation to the technical aspects of the end-to-end -end communication and data transfer. And finally, the battery passport should include technical, sustainability, and administrative information that we already explained in depth in our blog post. <laughs> Yes, yeah, this new regulation allows the harmonization of batteries produced and commercialized in the European Union, but for sure it's a challenge and it will be necessary a real implication of all stakeholders along the value chain for achieving the requirements defined. And of course, it's necessary to work hard and fast to ensure that new technologies of batteries meet all the requirements from technical and sustainable perspective.